Allen County Sheriff's investigators are charging two men in connection with the murder of a woman over the weekend. Authorities found 29 year old Brittany Dykes's body Sunday in a small creek partially covered in a bed sheet. As News 13 Jack Holt tells us, Dykes was the girlfriend of one of the suspects. Calhoun County Sheriff's deputies arrested 35 year old Charles Gable and 36 year old Christopher Vickery early Wednesday morning. They say the two were involved in the death of 29 year old Brittany Dykes. We received a call about a body being discovered in a small stream in the northwest part of Calhoun County. Investigators stayed on the scene late into Sunday night collecting evidence. Dykes was from Gulf County. She and her three year old son had been living in Altho with Gable, who was her boyfriend. Relatives told authorities they spoke to Brittany Saturday night. They say she was arguing with Gable. I understand that they had a very volatile relationship which would sometime go beyond verbal. Investigators made contact with Gable Monday, seized his car and phone and brought him in for questioning. He denied any involvement. But Tuesday night, investigators say Gable's relatives told them he admitted to murdering Brittany and was contemplating suicide. They arrested Gable, charging him with second degree murder. Authorities believe it wasn't a planned murder, but rather a crime of passion. It all happens all at the same time. And, and that's where the secondary murder comes in. They have not yet said how Brittany Dykes was killed. It could uh, cause a problem in prosecution. And so this time we're not listing the cause of death, but it was homicide. Investigators say 36 year old Christopher Vickery gave at least one sworn statement admitting involvement, but hasn't said what he allegedly did. He's charged with accessory after the fact. In Calhoun County, Jack Hole, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Authorities say they were able to positively identify Dykes by her tattoos. Walter County Sheriff's investigators released the body and dash cam video today of that deadly shooting spree last week at the Sandestin Resort. It shows the suspect.